Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, we already talked about uh, the... We already have several videos about one-to-one -to -one relationship. And this is going to be the last option, embeddable. And beside embeddable to do one-to-one -one relationship, we have a join column. We have a shared primary key. If you are interested, you can take a look at other videos, okay, which is one to one, okay. And the last one is embeddable. So let me give you a theory first, then we write a code, okay. So as we did before, which is a class, this one have a customer, right? And we have a class, which is address. And address have a street and have a zip code. For one-to-one -one relationship, which means a customer has only one address, right? Has only one address. So if you guarantee your application will be always the customer only has one address. So how about it? We only create one table called a customer. Have ID, have a name, first name, last name, uh, and also all the fields inside the address gonna be in the customer table. Here, I put a street here, I put a zip code here. Okay. So this is called the embeddable, which is uh, two entity customer address and the map into one table so what's the benefit to using one table if we're using two table whenever we insert we have to insert into two tables and whenever we want trying to find okay to a select we have to using the join from this table join another table using the foreign key right so the performance probably is not that uh, as fast as we do in one table like here if i want to save for customer we only save for one table right and now if i want to select customer and address we only select one customer table so what's the not good part about this one when we're using embeddable table. The uh, not a good part, the first one, suppose you allow street and a zip code can be newable. Which means when we insert values into the customer table, we don't necessarily to have a street and a zip code which is address info so in your table you're gonna have like 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 look like this id first name uh, last name and here is a street and here is a zip code you're gonna have a thing like here okay one first name tina last name xi and uh, so this is street okay Okay. and two uh, miss three hello all these values here is a none and uh, for a normalized table it doesn't like uh, those uh, newable columns so if you allow newable for street and a zip code probably your table is not a normalized table Second, which is uh, probably you think about uh, the extension in the future. And uh, if we're using join table, it's gonna be very easy to convert to be uh, many to one, uh, many, uh, many to one. You just uh, drop the unique, but in this case, you have to redesign, okay, all your tables. Okay, so let me show you how to implement Basically, it's a two class, two entity map into one table. So I have a customer here, okay? Customer and I have address here. Customer and address uh, now has no relationship. 
And then now, I have a private address, okay? And the address. To be embeddable, first, we cannot use an entity. What's the reason? Because when we using entity, it's gonna be a new table. But uh, we don't want address to be a new table. It should be all the fields should be inside this customer table. So here we will use embeddable. Okay, which means this address will be embed into another table. Since this address is gonna be embed into another table. Do we need to have a primary key? No, 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 no need. So make sure that your embeddable table there's no primary key because the primary key only only has a one customer table and a customer have control customer this table control the primary key. So here no primary key. Okay, no pri Marie key generated in this table. Okay, no, 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 no this table, this entity, uh, this embeddable entity. Okay, and uh, what's the things should I put here? It's gonna using a notation called the embedded, which means. Uh, this address okay gonna be embedded here so we won't have two tables only has one table generated and uh, i've already okay let me drop this one okay drop now and refresh no tables here now i will run it okay two changes no entity no entity and uh, no uh, ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's run, refresh. Here, this one is because uh, uh, Hibernate sequence, okay, Big, uh, generation strategy. Hibernate choose sequence for the MySQL. Uh, customer, you can see here, in, we only has one customer table here. The ID is the customers, yo, not this one. Yes, this ID, and we have first name, last name, and you will see street zip code, see here. ID, street, zip code, first name, last name. So two classes are combined into one table. This can also achieve one to one relationship. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, the next video gonna be many to many relationship. Okay, if you are interested, please take a look at. And uh, thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.